Okay, this is part two of globalist move to in, instill tyranny in Europe and North America. This is from New American. This one is not open to interpretation. It's already being implemented. People, it's already being implemented. It's called the Strong Cities Network. They're taking over our cities. And this is admitted. This is admitted by uh, the Attorney General Loretta I Love Isis Lynch, which I will show you the article. It's straight from the government. This is not a conspiracy theory. It is happening now. It all sounds so reassuring and reasonable. Acting for the Obama administration, the nation's attorney general has placed the United States into an international grouping of cities who advertised purpose involves, involves combating violent extremism. Some of the cities in the new group will be even be in other countries where terrorism has occurred or is surely a threat. All the members of this new group will share their experiences and planning. Everyone sh should be most grateful that the Strong Cities Network has been created. Basically, it means UN troops in our cities. This is not a joke. I will show you the proof that comes straight from the government. Representatives of Norway's Osio. Oslo, excuse me, and Canadians, Canada's Montreal jo joyfully announced membership in the new Strong Cities Network during World Bodies Confab. And the UN's High Commissioner for Human Rights, Jordan Zied Raid Al Hussein added his enthusiasm from the new organization. They're taking over the cities. Boiled down to its essence, SCN is actually a new law enforcement body whose laws will govern participating cities, including New York, Atlanta, Denver, Minneapolis, that have already signed up as members. Law enforcement measures for these cities will dovetail with or emanate from the Institute for strategic dialogue in the United Nations, not from U.S. Constitution and locally elected officials and laws governing them. In her remarks and unveiling of this new organization, Attorney General Loretta I Love Isis Lynch claimed that the new arrangement will work toward being an alliance of nations and would inspire, inspire to be a global community. Oh, boy. So let's take a look at the article that I'm talking about that proves. Here you go. Straight from the horse's mouth. Attorney General Loretta I Love Isis Lynch announces the launch of the Strong Cities Network at the United Nations General Assembly. Thank you. Mayor de Blasio, for those kind words, for your dedication to promoting equality and expanding opportunity for your service to the people of this great city, the city I call home. I'd also like to recognize High Commissioner for Human Rights, Prince Zaid Rad El Hossein, and UN Habitat Program for their inspiring work and bold leadership as we work to create a future of sustainable peace, development, and opportunity. And I'd like to thank all the mayors and other municipal leaders who are helping to ensure safe and prosperous futures for our communities and our world by serving on the steering committee for, of the Strong Cities Network. And it goes on and on. This is straight from the Department of Justice so, this is not debatable. This is tyranny. They are undermining our sovereignty. If you're not furious by now, then you're not going to get angry.
till you see the blue helmets. We may not even see the blue helmets. But what you're going to do, what you're going to find is that they're going to start, you're going to start uh, having to obey laws you never knew existed. This will be UN law. Now, uh, let's take a look at that other story briefly that I've been following about the UN armored vehicles heading up north. Just a uh, reminder here, Alpine Armoring is the ones who uh, are building these vehicles, and they claim that they're shipping them out of the country. Now, having learned about the Strong Cities Network and the desire of the Mexican president to create North American Union, which is nothing new, and having read, having heard about the rise of the German super state, what do you think? Think we're not in trouble? Uh, folks, there's going to get a point where nobody's going to be able to deny this stuff. And it looks like it's accelerating. The globalists don't like Brexit. They don't like people saying, we want our freedom, we want local control, we don't want your uh, big government tyrannies. And the globalists don't like that. They don't like it one bit. Well, here you go. At any rate, uh, by the way, Snopes lied about this one. Well, what Snopes claimed, Snopes claimed that Alpine Armoring said that they were uh, sending these vehicles out of country. The Daily Mail couldn't get an answer from them. So, uh, Snopes, by the way, is not this big fact-checking organization dedicated to being neutral and all this. They're run, it's run by a couple leftist pinko commie liberals in California that have their own agenda. So I about pop up the sites causing trouble. But here you have it. The globalists are working on instilling tyranny they want tyranny they want big tyrannical states in Europe and here from the North American Union and I showed you the truth we're in serious trouble your cities are being invaded by the UN I've shown you the proof. You're going to have to raise hell with your representatives and demand that the UN be kicked out of this country. Period. Then the subject. I'll call mine up probably tomorrow. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.